Hi guys, thank you so much for um, tuning in to my very first vlog for Unveiling Heart. I'm so excited to be on this new journey that God has me on and I'm so honored that you guys are joining along with me. It's really, really, really exciting. Um, with these vlogs and these videos that I'm going to be um, doing for these next couple of weeks and next couple of months, I really just want to be able to share what God has put in my heart, some of my experiences, um, and just really being authentic with you guys, being real in hopes to inspire, encourage, and um, bring hope to women, men, everyone, all over the world. So thank you for joining me. Um, Today's topic, I just want to share something that I've um, recently and still am in transition and going through it. God is really dealing with me with is um, stepping out on faith and overcoming fear and self-doubt um, is something that everyone all over the world really, really deals with, um, especially when God calls you out of your comfort zone into the unknown. And, um, you know, it, it can be really scary when you don't have the who's, what's, ins, outs, and all the details. And normally that's just how God works. He calls you out, doesn't give you all the details. He just tells you to move. And then he just kind of leaves it, leaves it there. But he's faithful to come through um, every single time. So I just got a few notes here. I'm going to be really, really brief. But I hope that um, by the end of this video, you leave encouraged, inspired, and full of bravery and boldness. So um, let's get right in. So as you know, um, we all have a God-given purpose. And... When we feel that unction and that that stirring up inside like god i know that you made me for more and you feel like the timing is now for you to just step out on faith you know it can be very very scary especially when it's something like i said outside of your comfort zone but god has placed something great inside of us a purpose a calling all that sounds good right but the reality the reality of it is is there is an enemy and one of his greatest tactics is cri crippling us with fear and self-doubt and those thoughts of, dang, do I really have what it takes? Am I good enough? What if I do it? What if I suck? What if I don't know how to do it? And, you know, just me being honest, those are things that I've dealt with for many, many, many years um, until recently where I'm just like, you know what, Lord, I'm ready to step out because I know that you got me. So um, let's jump right in. So I just want to share this scripture with you really quick. It's John chapter 15, verse 16. It says, you have not chosen me, but I have chosen you, and I've appointed you and planted you that you might go and bear fruit and keep on bearing, so that whatever you ask the Father in my name, um, he may give it to you. And then when you go to um, chapter 14, verse 26, it says here that I will send you the Holy Spirit, and then he will teach you all things. So even when you feel like I don't have the slightest clue what I'm doing, but you know that God is calling you to jump off the cliff and take a leap of faith, know that he's left the Holy Spirit and he will teach you all things in that moment. You just have to just take that leap of faith. And um, so I just think about like my daughters, when they started dance class for the very first time, they were like shaking, like, I don't want to go in there. It's so noisy, you know, because it was all new for them. It's new territory. They've never done it before. And I would grab them by their hand. I'm like, come on, let's go. Heel, toe, step, heel, toe, step. And I would hold their hand and do it with them. And um, an encouraging scripture that I've, um, that I've been holding on to is Isaiah chapter 41, verse 13. And it says, for I will hold you by your right hand. I, the Lord your God, and I say to you, do not be afraid. I am here to help you. So whatever it is today that God is calling you to do, that stirring, that feeling like, God, I know that you've made me for more. I know that there's more for my life. There's a desire that I have to help people or to go into ministry or to build this business, whatever it is. You know, don't allow the enemy to discourage you with self-doubt and feeling like I have no idea what I'm doing. Because reality of it is, if you talk to any successful person when they first started, they had no clue. They learn as they went. But the awesome thing is you have the Holy Spirit and the promise of God that says, I will leave you with the comforter that will teach you all things. And God telling you himself, I will hold you by your right hand and I will help you. Do not be afraid. So be encouraged today, guys. God has placed that gifting inside of you. God has gift, put that burning desire in you for to step out and more. This is truly the season of purpose, of manifestation, and of harvest. And for so long, we've been waiting on God, like, God, you know, I'm waiting for you. I'm waiting for you to do something great. But I truly believe that this season, God is waiting for us. So go, be bold, be strong, be watchful, be steadfast in faith, and be encouraged and know that whatever God has planted inside of you, he's faithful to complete the good work that he started. Love, peace. See y'all next time. Love you guys. Ciao.
my prayer is that you are encouraged, that you are inspired for more videos, for more blogs, for more testimonials. Please visit the website www.unveilingheart.com and also subscribe, like, share, leave your comments below. I would love to engage in some conversation with you guys to hear about all the awesome things that God is doing in your life, all the testimonies that you have. Thank you so much. Until next time, be brave, ladies, be brave.